Hello, my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your daily tarot reading for uh, Saturday, February the 13th, 2021. Uh, thank you for your patience. As always, it's pretty early here. But um, when meditating on the energy overall for the collective for the day, the message that came through was forever changed, forever changed. And of course, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, wow. My voice, I feel like, is so raspy right now. But um, we're going to start off by pulling a couple messages from the wisdom, wisdom of the Oracle deck, okay? Uh, more specifically, one for each quarter of the day. For a beautiful collective, and keep in mind, general reading for all 12 signs. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't for somebody else. Thank you, Spirit, to begin this daily reading. What else do we have? For Saturday the 13th. Ooh. Didn't want these ones. What else do we have? Perfect, we got them. Interesting. So we're starting off with the building blocks card. Ooh, and there's a community. Um, community card is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you, a lot of us, are helping out some sort of community throughout this day in one way, shape, or form. And if you aren't, you're thinking about doing so. Okay, so the building blocks would be the card for the first quarter of the day. So let's clarify this and see what it's all about. What do we have, Spirit, for this building blocks card for the first quarter of the day? For a beautiful collective. Okay. So we have the Ten of Wands, my friend, as well as the Eight of Cups in reverse. Just one moment. All righty. So what's coming through with this is to start off the day on Saturday, there's going to be either you're working towards it diligently or you're thinking about how you're building a solid foundation for yourself. You're building whether it's a business, a project, a job, your career, um, the building blocks of a relationship. Either way, you can see that building this foundation for yourself, build, putting these building blocks in place is becoming a little bit stressful for you, right? Or at the very least mentally, when you think about it. And so what they're saying is, at this time, it's going to feel like you can't fully up and walk away from something that's not working for you, all right? And it feels like you putting these building blocks in place is to kind of move to bigger and better things, right? I'm going to cleanse the energy real quick from some excess noise in the background. And I mean, some of you, given I just mentioned that, it might be a situation that you're trying to improve or move away from that's too noisy. And they're saying it'll happen eventually, but you need to keep um, things optimistic while you're in this planning stage, while you're sort of um, diligently putting those blocks into place, setting up your, so your solid foundation. Allowing yourself not to get discouraged when things are a bit difficult or not as easy as they should be. And interestingly enough, we move on to the Between Worlds card for the second quarter of the day. And this honestly um, doesn't surprise me that this popped out for a reading that has the overall message of forever changed. Forever changed. I mean, it makes sense that you feel like you're moving from one world to the next, but you're sort of still kind of in that transition stage, moving from one to the next. Um, so naturally, one would change in that process. But let's clarify this. So this Between Worlds card for our beautiful collective for the second quarter of the day. So we got the Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands. So this is a highlight on the fact that you are moving towards, again, bigger and better things. As you can see, 
one side of this card is a bit dull and the other is more colorful. That's the overall point. You're moving to bigger, better, more colorful things, happier times. And so you're essentially thinking about or fully planning for that future, for that next chapter. Um, and you're realizing that whatever's ahead, whatever is meant for you, whatever you have to look forward to, plan for, is so much better than what's gone, right? And it leaves you, remind, it reminds you of how much passion you have for what's ahead, for the possibilities. Now it feels like you can actually reach your potential or start to. Because it feels like this new world you're heading into will be more fitting or more open to the new you, to the more evolved you, right? Where it doesn't feel like... It feels like a lot of you who are drawn to this vid video have evolved over uh, the last few months, years, you name it. And it just, you long for a place where you feel like the changed, evolved you fits in. Kind of longing for a place to call home, basically. Interesting. They actually want me to pull one more small clarifier card for this. But I'm going to take a sip of water real quick, one second. All right, what else do we have for the second quarter of the day? Yeah, they're giving me the Seven of Cups. So they're saying at this point to wrap up the second quarter of the day, when you are planning for your future, when you're doing your best to think optimistically and um, accepting that what's gone is for the best and that there's so much to look forward to, they're saying you're going to have so many options to choose from, okay? You're going to have a lot of decisions to make, and it doesn't mean you have to make them all on the spot. But just remember that these changes, you should be choosing them to align them more with who you've evolved to become. Okay, you forever change and nobody should expect you to rewind or to hide who you've become or hide who you now have the courage to show you are on a soul level. Wow. Time to go to move right along. And it's interesting that I just mentioned, um, I, I didn't even think about how this card was down here. And um, we were talking about how it's gone. It's um, meant to be, right? And what's to look forward to is 10 times better than what's gone. So let's clarify this. So clarify this time to go card for the third quarter of the day. What else we have? Makes sense. I mean, uh, Wounded Warrior card at the bottom of the deck. Whatever this is that you need to walk away from, or it's just simply time to go, is leaving you feeling quite wounded, right? Burnt out. So we got the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Four of Cups. This is going to be different for everybody, I feel, and we will clarify it more so. But the Queen of Swords comes out when you're clearly in the mindset where you need to up and leave a situation that's no longer healthy, or you need to use that sword and cut that person, place, or situation out. Out of the respect for your future, um, for all the inner work you've done recently, and they're saying that it could potentially be an offer coming in, whether it's from the past, somebody you know currently, or just somebody you have an intuitive feeling it's just not meant for you. But they're reminding you that all of these thoughts, when your intuition is telling you not to go for it, or your intuition, your gut feeling is guiding you to leave the situation, however it may be for you, um, it's all out of respect for your independence, okay? It's to reach for... Um, that financial comfort, that success that you deserve in order to keep, in order to move towards that more successfully or um, effortlessly, you need to do what you can to walk away from or remove uh, people, places, and situations that are going to create blockages between you and that destined success. Okay. And then we have the Imagine card to, we're not going to clarify that third one again. But um, we have the Imagine card to wrap up the spread in the day. I'm going to start calling this the Manifestation card. But let's clarify this one. What do we have to clarify this Imagine card for a beautiful collective? Love it. Love it. 
Okay. Now we're going to show this one. So we have the Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. And what they're saying is they need you to imagine that whatever situation you need to walk away from or isn't ideal at this time, imagine it's done. Imagine it's gone. Imagine you have wrapped up that chapter with a bow and said sayonara. Okay? You put it to rest. It taught you what it needed to. And now you're imagining manifesting that that chapter is wrapped up and you're heading towards um, bigger and better things, a more colorful life for you. One that's more fulfilling. And then we have the Four of Swords, which they're saying <clears throat> the end of the day is the perfect time to rest, to take some time to step back and adjust your perspective on your situation, understanding and imagining this ending coming to reality, things improving, and just imagining that happening as quickly as possible, because it's going to happen soon, my friend. But the biggest reason why this is coming into play at the end of the day is because spirit needs you to keep things optimistic. If you start doubting that things are going to improve or that the situation's ever going to come to an end, you're going to stay in this in-between stage. You're going to move back to this lack of color, this kind of stagnancy. So do what you can to keep it optimistic. Imagine that ideal life for yourself. Um, things improving, if you will. Um, things aligning with you, uh, once again, as you are these days, as you've changed, evolved, um, and manifest all that you desire. Beautiful reading. Let's uh, finish this off by pulling a tea leaf card or two our beautiful collective to wrap up this daily read. The most difficult part of a situation is over a rainbow. Boom. Do you understand that? Whatever you've been dealing with that's difficult, that situation, the hardest part's over. Smooth sailing from here. Yep, and then you're feeling tied down or frustrated. And so, again, that situation you need to remember that it is coming to an end soon enough. You need to just keep it optimistic and keep taking step by step, working towards that solution. And then scales, keep your life in balance. And it all starts with your mind, my friend. Meditation is definitely going to come in handy this day. But there's a reminder that not only you need to keep yourself in balance as you reach for bigger and better things and make your way to a more colorful life yourself but understand that the scales are balancing out for yourself all right slowly but surely but they are so keep that in mind as you stand proud and how you've changed over time and how you've evolved and who you've become all right my friends so i hope this reading is truly helpful don't forget to like this video leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already i hope you have the most amazing day and i'll see you next time bye